actually, I had a, uh, an assistant named uh, Dennis Pollock that I worked with uh, doing the prosthetics because everybody was, had scars in this movie. Everybody had scars somewhere. And Arquette was wearing, she had been in so many accidents that she had to wear this orthopedic suit. And we actually went to a place on the outskirts of Toronto that makes prosthetic for people who have been in accidents. And they had this huge warehouse full of like all the materials to make that sort of contraption. So we used the real stuff, all the hinges, the material to make this kind of like weird armor suit for her. You know, yeah. uh, orthopedic sort of like sort of clanky sort of armor suit, and and Dennis, since they were all like kind of like uh, quirky characters, made this little compartment that was attached to her, her thigh or her leg that opened up, and there was a few joints in it. You know, that she would like close and pop out. <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. We came in like um, quite a few weeks before we took a cast of the actors. And uh, I started making like all the sculptures of the scars and we made molds and we made them out of gelatin because it's easy to work with and it's fast. And plus we had the big accident sequence like on the freeway and there was a lot of people with pieces of windshield sticking out of their faces and God knows what, broken bones and sticking out. It was nonstop, you know. Um, so yeah, there was, and, and then the main character, uh, um, Alias Coteus, uh, the kind of crazy doctor in the movie. He had like all these little scars everywhere, you know, all over his face. So there was that, some of them were made with collodion, some of them were little appliances.